Hi everyone, it's Nami Ekanayaka from Encouragement from the Word of God. Happy Sunday to you all. As we continue reading Through Their Eyes by Nicole Georges Bennett. Today is a beautiful poem about John the Baptist meeting Jesus at the Jordan River. It says, Jordan, the lost sheep of Israel are spread out amongst the rocks at the banks. Mud colors the turquoise water. I lift my eyes to the heavens above. The skins of camel gird my loins. I am lean with fasting. I inhabit the solitary places. I am too fierce, too sharp for pleasant homes. Destiny places me in these waters. Fire fills my bones. I shout over the roar of the river to be heard. The lone voice crying out in the wilderness. I see past their eyes to the spirits within. I see that some are his, most are not. Wipers among the flock, yet I am compelled to warn, to exhort, to beg, repent. The current changes imperceptibly, a shift in the atmosphere. I am aware of him before I see him. An excited ripple stirs the crowd. I am born for this moment, yet I hesitate. I'm not worthy to even touch his feet. Even when he stands before me at last, I still ask, Who am I that my Lord should come to me? The weight of his majesty buckles my knees. What he asks of me is beyond my understanding. It is proper to do this to fulfill all righteousness. So I comply. It is my purpose. I baptize him who will baptize me with holy spirit and fire the heavens open and the voice speaks this is my son as he leaves me i pick up my mantle again and raise my lone cry behold the lamb of god matthew chapter 3 verse 14. it's a beautiful illustration and a poem of jesus coming to john the baptist to be baptized in the Jordan River and John the Baptist knew about Jesus and he was sent before Jesus to prepare the way of the hearts of people in Israel to ask them to repent from their sin to turn away from evil John the Baptist prepared the way we can learn few things about John the Baptist and how the Holy Spirit filled him and how the Holy Spirit was filled Jesus when he was baptized. Jesus has the authority and power and John the Baptist knew and that's why he said, I'm not worthy even to remove the sandal from your feet. But Jesus wanted the scripture to be fulfilled and John the Baptist baptized Jesus by the water and the Holy Spirit appeared and you could hear a sound from heaven, God speaking. This is my beloved son. I'm well pleased with him. It is a beautiful story. And we can learn many things about John the Baptist and this situation. John the Baptist, truly he lived for God and not for himself. He was not a man who was um, uh, aware of um, he was not a man who collected things for himself. He was not a man who uh, tried to build a kingdom for himself. But he was the man who was preparing the way for the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And he didn't, uh, he didn't live for himself, but he lived for God and the purpose that God has called him to prepare the way, to level the way for Messiah to come into the world. So, Sometimes can we think of John the Baptist and find out and see are we of are we people like John the Baptist? Are we preparing the way for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Are we leveling the parts? Are we touching a people's hearts so that they would hear the news, good news about Jesus, so that they would be ready for the second coming of Jesus? Can we be like John the Baptist, prepare the way for Jesus' second coming? 
because John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus' first coming. And we have, we are here now to prepare the second coming of Jesus Christ. And the next one is, John the Baptist never abused God's anointing. God's anointing was on him from as a baby. In Elizabeth's womb, John the Baptist leaped for joy when he heard the voice of Mary and knew that it is Jesus is in Mary's womb. And um, John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why he was able to preach to the people. He was able to baptize people with the water. He baptized people with the water. But Jesus baptized us, you and me today, with the Holy Spirit. And he never abused the anointing that God gave on John the Baptist. He knew the purpose that he was sent and he never abused his anointing. John the Baptist, we can learn many things from him. He was humble. Are we humble? Are we uh, thinking of preparing the way for our Lord? Or are we gathering wealth for ourselves? Are we preparing um, our future? Or are we really thinking of the whole picture of God and his plan for the whole world? And the next one is he always lived up, lived up to God's calling. John the Baptist always knew and he lived up to God's calling. He was called to preach. He was called to uh, get the message across to the people to repent from their sins. And he was not afraid to speak about it. He was able to speak to anyone, even in authority. He was not afraid to correct people. And he, speak, he spoke to even Herod and even people in authority. And he was not afraid to tell them to repent from their sins. So he lived up to God's calling. Sometimes we are afraid to talk to people about Jesus. We are afraid to tell them about Jesus. We are afraid to do the calling that God has asked you and me. Maybe because of, um, because we are afraid that what they would think of us, what they would speak about us. But John the Baptist was totally different. He was not afraid and he didn't worry about what people said or thought about him. He knew the calling that God had on him. And the next one is, overall, he finished the race well. John the Baptist did the task that Jesus, God, assigned for him to make the way, level the way for the people to accept Jesus into their hearts. And John the Baptist accomplished that and he ran the race and finished it well. And are we, are we going to finish the race well? Are we going to run the race and finish it well? And even though he had doubts, he had uh, weaknesses, John the Baptist was not perfect, but he did his part and he was, he did the best he can to level the way for Jesus, the Messiah. And are we, are we going to do the best we can to run this race that God has prepared for you and me this in this life? Are we going to run the race and finish it well? It is a beautiful um, poem and a beautiful story we can learn about John the Baptist and he baptizing Jesus in the Jordan River and this is a picture of the Holy Spirit and we can know that when we get baptized in water Holy Spirit comes to us and uh, Holy Spirit lives in us Holy Spirit leads us and guides us and we need the Holy Spirit in us Holy Spirit is really important he is the third person in the Trinity and if you have never accepted Jesus into your heart, you can accept Jesus. And when you accept Jesus, Holy Spirit comes to you. His Holy Presence lives in you. And He will guide you and guard you into every good thing. So if, let's pray together. And if you have never accepted Jesus, please pray with me and ask Him to come into your heart. Jesus, we come to you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we can talk to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you go before us. Lord, we thank you that you used John the Baptist to prepare the way for you. Lord, you accept 
you want us to prepare the way for your second coming. Help us to be bold enough to tell people about you. Help us to lead the way, make the way for your second coming so that everyone in this world will hear about your name, hear about Jesus and repent of their sins and come to know you. Lord, I pray that you make our hearts bold and that you give us the words to speak. Holy Spirit, dwell in us and lead us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. Just want to sing to you one hymn. It is a beautiful hymn saying, Be still and know that I am God. It's a beautiful hymn. If you know, please sing with me. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I am the Lord that He loved thee. I am the Lord that He loved thee. I am the Lord that He loved thee. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I hope you were blessed today and I hope that you would know that God's presence is always with you as his presence was at the time of John the Baptist. His presence is with us to prepare the way for his second coming. May God bless you. Bye.